go yeah. sound like a robo. <laughs> I don't know. I hear my recording. My recording sounds good because I tested it out. I don't yeah, know. his recording's always fine. It's just I, whenever he starts Discord. Audacity in Discord, yeah, he, he sounds like a robot. Shut up. Right. Said, you know what? You know what? Bender, Bender from Futurama. <laughs> <gasps> slinky arms, slinky arms. You know Bender, you know Bender and Rick from Rick and Morty are related, same character, same universe. Wait, Bender and who? And Rick are Rick. related? Bender Sanchez and Rick Sanchez. From B- Bender's Hitch- last name is not Sanchez, bro. Yes, it is. He's look it not up. Mexican. Look it, up. look it up. Look up Bender's last name. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Hey I know Siri, right. what is Bender from Futurama's last name? Bro, it, it said he don't got a name. It name. says Sanchez. Ligma. It says oh, Sanchez wrong. with the one episode where his brother shows up with a goatee and he, he gets crushed. He's like, Brother Sanchez. <laughs> Maybe that's just their nickname. Like, and that's what know. happens. It's be calling They're the same Sanchez's. universe, same character. That means Rick is just fucking with Fry no. the whole time. No, and see, that means, see, where's Morty? Where's, where's Morty? That's, that's his, nep- that's his nephew. Show. But listen, listen. My, that's, uh, that's, Rick, that's 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 probably passes. that's probably just their nickname for each other. Like my brothers call me Crotch. Is that my <laughs> last name? I think it's no. just bullying <laughs> one. Okay. I don't know why they call that. No, that's my nickname. Cause Nathan's name is Nutch, Ryan's is Butch, and mine is Crotch. Logan's no one. He never got a good one because he was always such an angry child. Who who gave you that nickname? Uh, my oldest brother. That's bullying. They're not gonna call you. Crush. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they still do to this day. I'm almost 20. They call you Crotch. You gotta beat one yeah. of them. <laughs> They're like, "What's up, Crotch?" <laughs> I'm the tallest now, so. Beat him up. Yeah, for real. Like how JoJo Siwa beat up the baby after she was. <laughs> he did. Yeah. She did. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't oh, see the video? No. What happened? Oh, yeah, she straight dropped his ass. That's awesome. Good for she her. She walked up in I public, seen the, popped up with a seen, I seen the baby slap a woman before, and that's one of my favorite it videos. Was, so. Yeah, well, this was kind of like that. Like, he went to slap JoJo Siwa, and she dipped it, and dude, I'm telling you, this fight was maybe four she, seconds. She, she leg-wrapped him and slammed him on She three-pieced him with a combo. The baby fell. He said, he looked up, right? He had a couple tears in his eyes. He said, please, JoJo Siwa, do not hurt the baby. He said, and maybe gave stomped his head. Right. He said, uh, baby be the baby. <laughs> Dude, talk, <laughs> speaking about all that, I'm just, have we started the podcast? I guess we kind of have, right? Close enough. Been I, I've been ripping this fucking bog. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Whatever. It don't matter. We're into it, kind of. <laughs> um, no, I wanted to. Welcome the to baby, the podcast. The baby's no longer public enemy number one. It's Travis Scott now. Because he, he got it. I mean, it, it wasn't even his fault. He, but he, No, <laughs> he killed those 14 people or 13 wait, people. Wait, how? It's wait, wait, fault. wait, wait, wait. How? Explain. Have Somebody. you not heard about this? No. Uh, Astro World, right? The tour. Johnny, you explain it because you care more about music. Well, okay, originally the story was there was just like a big mosh and eight people got trampled to death. But what they found out is there was some freak running around with a backpack full of used needles with something in them. And he was running around injecting people. He got a security guard and the security guard passed out within eight seconds. So then people started running away from him and they trampled a bunch of people to death. That's kind of funny, I'm not even gonna I lie. Think, Stampedes are hilarious. I don't think hilarious. that's Travis Scott's fault. That might have been the crazy nah, guy. Put him in prison. They, well, put him in they, prison. They, put him in prison. Him. <laughs> they blamed him because he kept performing. Yeah, and I would have like, too. Nobody wanted fire. to stop. Song's fire. It was a fire song to be stabbing people with needles too. That's all he, he must know. Bro, they was going sicko mode. Dude, it's because he brought Drake out. <laughs> they, 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 they guy, that guy they made the guy shit, snap. Man. I'd fucking inject some Drake fans. <laughs> so would I, dude. That's probably what that guy was doing. He was waiting. He knew Drake was there. He wanted Drake, but he said, I'll just get the next best thing. His fans, <laughs> His fans will Listen, suffice. His fans will buy anything. His Nike collab is, is the worst shit I've ever fucking seen. Honestly, I would get the Drake. I'd get the Drake haircut. Do not. The, the little heart. You can't. Uh, I mean, the, the hair one thing, we'll just, you have to grow nah, back your hair one. That's not going to no, happen. No, no, no. We'll just, we'll take a knife and we'll carve a, like, a hairline and scar tissue and then carve the heart into his head. So it's a permanent mm. Drake hair. We can just oh, I would get so many women. I'd get so many women. Same thing. You'd be a certified lover boy. I'm a yeah, lover you'd get so many boy. women, but you're scared of them, so. No, women aren't scary. What are we? Just... 
females. Uh, some women can be scary. I'll tell you that, man. Goddamn. My mom's scary. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but your mom's a, a good scary. All right, bro. Yeah. No, that 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 brings it into my first topic. All right. I told I think I told Jonah and Brennan this, but I didn't tell Nico. So at work on Saturday, right? <laughs> we, we we hired uh, some kids that were that were like sophomores and freshmen when I was a senior, and one of the girls is like, you know, now that I've met you, I changed my mind. But back at school, I used to think you were gay, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I still think I, you're. I was gay. like, I was like, I was like, that really uh, that really hurts my self confidence. Well, like, wait till the next part. Wait till I was the like, next I part. was like, I was like, I was like, why did you think that? She was like, well, you're friends with a lot of really pretty girls and you never dated any of them. I was like, <sighs> I, was like I was like, I'm, I'm going to go cry in the office. Well, yeah, but then like, didn't, yeah. didn't she say, like, at least your friends, like, know you're not gay, obviously? Yeah, she was, like, at least, she was like, at least, at least the people close to you didn't, like, think you were gay, you know? I was like, no, they did. <laughs> <laughs> they would make fun of me for it. I was like, man, that just breaks my heart. And then we found heart. out he's just scared of women. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, maybe. That I mean, just broke shit. my heart. Made me so sad. There are some scary women. I mean, Rose, yeah, no, Rose Nama Nunez. Yeah, I mean, I was scary down woman. For her. Rose Nama Nunez. Her work Zhang last night. Bro, Three, Black fighter. Panther for the win. Yeah, knocked out racist boy. He knocked out the racist kid. Well, not knocked out, but practically, they should have yeah. called the fight. Then, but yeah, he came back. He, he was did. just kidney punching him. <laughs> he just came back to get his ass beat. There's gonna be another one. Oh, man, nah, I mean, hungry. yeah, but it'll probably be further down the line. See, I, I wouldn't be months. scared of Rose. Rose is a bald oh. person like me, and we could get along really well. Rose would kill you. Rose just seems matter. like a sweetheart. <laughs> nah, Rose seems like yeah. a sweetheart. For sure. Mm -hmm. I would kiss her on the... So does I just love how her, her husband or boyfriend or whatever he is was controlling her in the background. They oh my had gosh, the same yes. They were in sync. It was real steel, dude. Wait, what? <laughs> Dead ass. She's a robot. What She's are you guys robot. talking about? They were, they were in sync like when Rose was, was swaying was in back and forth in the, in the ring. And Pat Barry, her, her fiancé slash coach, was just behind her following her movements. And it looked yeah. like he was in control of her. Yeah. That's fucking freaky. Dude, I... I never really got nervous in her fight. Like, I thought maybe the first round, but yeah. after, dude, that fifth round, after she started getting control like that, I was like, oh, yeah, that's easy. She fucking Dude, the that. best fight was Mr. Gaethje, though. Oh, I yeah. Love him. Iron Chen style, both of them. Yeah, that was a good, that was a good fight. I, I, what, I, I, Gaethje? Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah, Gaethje was the best fight of the night, in my opinion. By far. It kind of, it kind of stunk, though, because, um, they hit each other both so much that neither of them got a post-to-fight interview. Yeah, I wanted to see what Gage would say. Too I saw a video of Chandler in the ambulance, too, and he was in good spirits. Too much brain cell loss. Too much CTE. <laughs> Seriously. Brain don't work no more. <laughs> speaking of, speaking of heads getting molded, I have a new nephew. No, yes. you can't address it like that. So, he has a fresh <sighs> soft spot. I can't even say congratulations. A fresh soft spot, and his name is Joey. So I <laughs> cannot. Name it's not Joey. even Joey. Well, it? that's his middle name is Joseph, and I'm gonna call him Joey. So, and I'm gonna mold his head into a kangaroo's head, so he can be a real Joey. No, no, don't say no. that. No. What already that. has a huge block head like you for some reason? You can't. Bro, they both you. do. Ten, Have you look, seen my niece? Ten years from now. Like, we're gonna, like, not be playing games as much. Well, actually, I don't know about that. But we're, like, we're not gonna hear from Christian for a couple of weeks, right? He's gonna be like, yeah, guys, I'm going on my Mormon trip. My mom's... Heck, nah. <laughs> no right? way. Well, little did we know, Christian was out and about across the continental United States, and there's just these random news reports popping up all across the country in small-town America, right? Baby found in crib with a bowl carved into his head. The soft spot was pushed oh. in. And there's cereal. <laughs> and Reese's Puffs. And, yeah, cereal we're recipe sitting there found. And we, look, we sit there and we make a joke. We're like, oh, yeah, that that was Christian. Christian's the soft spot. Soft spot. What, what would his... I don't even know what your nickname would be. Soft spot The soft silencer. spot bandit. Yeah, soft spot silencer. <laughs> Silencing the baby cries. Okay. <laughs> no. we, keep, we keep making the jokes like, oh, it's Christian, it's Christian. And then, like, three and a half years later, Christian never returned from his Mormon trip. 
and all we see is a mugshot of him. I'm and gonna be smiling. Thumbs, his thumbs have gotten flatter and rounder from all the soft spots he's oh, pushed no. in. He's taken the lives of all hundreds right, of babies. Alright, first of all, it's not my fault that there's a built-in self-destruct button on babies. But all it's right. your fault that you have a weird urge to push them in. I don't yeah. have the urge, it's just necessary. Why? Like... That's an urge. Why is it- yeah, why is it necessary? So if- say- say you had a big old Death Star, alright? Why would you have a self-destruct button if not to press it? <coughs> See? What? Very true. See? But you- you <coughs> should never have logic. <coughs> Unshakable Ever. logic. Oh, I don't play it You should worry. not be allowed within, like, four football fields. You should, you should be put on the sex school. offender registry. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. You need to be put on a list for very good reasons right here. So I <laughs> did nothing I'm wrong. sending this to the FBI. I'm sending this. There, I'm, I'm ratting us all out right here, okay? Absolutely there nothing is wrong. self-destruct buttons on every human. You just snap their neck. So why do you target the newborns? Yeah. What's with oh. the newborns? No, that those are just the funniest ones. I wouldn't mind either way. Why are they funniest? What did they do? Because they're tiny. What I did? It's like it's like when that's like the videos of like that one guy. Remember the the video like the guy goes chicken tendies and then he says re then he shoots the chicken. That's pretty funny because it's tiny, right? If it was a horse, not as funny. Uh, I'll be dead ass. I'm I'm not no damn fucking baby head masher, but I have always had an urge to maybe go in the nursery and switch a couple babies around. Now that <laughs> would be funny. Got urge urge that would be funny. Them all around. One. Every baby gets another misplaced uh, when they baby. I would I wanna I would wanna switch a, around like a black baby with a white baby so that the guy thinks she cheated. Yeah. It came out white. Was, that that <laughs> are got, subtle. It just that are really the subtle. Got like, injected. Like, um, they're both, baby. like, blonde hair, blue eyes, and this thing just has fucking straight black hair, bl brown eyes. Uh-huh. You switch like, it some, it some genes that don't like add it. up. Wasn't there, like, a TLC show called Switched at Birth? Yes. Good TLC show. Did you what would you do if you found out you were switched at birth? Shoot, I guess nothing. I, I don't know. Uh, nothing, life, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty alive. happy. I don't know what to think, you know? Like, I'm pretty happy. I well, it, depend, it would depend on how it happened, you know? Because if, like, True. my parents did it, then, like, that, I would be like, all right, I'm out of here. But if, like, it just happened, you know, like a little mix-up, two two doctors ran into each other carrying me and someone else. It's just how it goes, you know? <laughs> well, then you imagine, <laughs> you, you imagine her name is actually Herbert from your biological mom. Oh, my oh. Jesus Christ. I would never go back. I don't care what happens. I'm not getting named, like, Herbert. I'm not getting named Keith. Herbert. Nothing... Disgusting. Doesn't it be Seth? Come on, doesn't Herbert. it be a good Seth? Mm. That's better than that's better than Keith or Herbert or Humphrey. I can't see myself being a Seth. Humphrey? <laughs> Humphrey. I could be a Humphrey. I could Humphrey's not be a, a Humphrey. Name. I feel like I got the voice for a Humphrey. Well, if I was Humphrey, I would want like a cool nickname. But there aren't any hum. cool nicknames for Humphrey. You guys could be Seymour. I'd call you Hum. <laughs> Free, just call me free, please. No. Please, not the first part of my name. That or humping free. Did you say you'd be a Seymour? Yeah, I'd be a Seabor. I can see that. Like the yeah. cat? <laughs> no, like Seymour, like Seymour Smith, like the old person. Like, or like the cat. Name. There's a cat? I'm like 90% sure that's the cat's name from Looney Tunes. Seymour. What? Well, I saw Vester what? The Looney Tunes hey, cat saw Vester. No, no, Seymour sure. the cat is the cat that joined the the, cat the Zoom meetings at someone's job instead of them. I remember those videos. That's oh. Hey, hey. Um, y'all know Hank from last week? Yes. What happened this time? He has a girlfriend. Please tell me it's not the girl he DM told he was gonna bust no. on her. I, Wait, I what? Hank's got a girlfriend? Is? I, I don't know who this. Out. Did, off the did Hank, her name. Did Hank get it? it? Says, did Hank pull it? It says her name. His his bio says taken by. I don't know who that is. But no way, person. Jim. It's Jim. I, friend. I dead ass I typed in Hank looking up him. He has a girlfriend. No way. I can't. I want to. I need to find this girl. Bro, what would you I need do? to find out what's wrong yeah, with you. Yeah, you need to send her like some screenshots of stuff he's done. No, well, that's fucked up. Well, no, man, that's horrible. Listen, we've already given this man enough Joker moments in his life. 
give him one more. See if we can push him, him off the more, edge. If we give him one more Joker moment, it's gonna be us first on his Joker. We're already okay, wait. first on the Joker. I found her. I found her. It's all right. Not it's me, all right. Man. I've never He's talked good. to the dude. Are you sure it's her? Yeah, he follows her and she's got in her um oh, bio. Genius. She's 20 oh, years my. old. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. I I I don't I, 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 she, she, I can't follow I see her. her. She's private, yeah. I mean, I, shit. For oh, they, I'm uh, going to have to bleep that out. For Hank. Not that bad. For Hank, not that bad, I think. For the th for the sourness. Oh. I wonder how he addressed her. Or he approach. Said, hey, may I he please? Said, hey, you like my muscles? <laughs> <laughs> you like Center's, the shirtless picks? Center last week gym picks? Yes, bro. Last week's gym picks. He's all pumped up after the workout, looking jacked as shit. You know what? Good for good for Hank. He needs that. He's been he's been working his whole time. What? Probably uh, since as long school. as I knew him. As long as I knew him. He's yeah, as long as I knew him too. All through high school, that's all he was trying to do is fucking get his dick wet. Yeah. Amen. Good man. Uh, don't let your dick control your brain. Sometimes you're a hero so long. Post nut clarity, my guy. Come on. You know what? I saw a video that said the uh, the existence of post nut clarity means that there's something called pre nut confusion. Yeah, and that I, I do. I do. Pre nut learning. Oh, it's called pre nut or, po or no, it's a, a mid come learning. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you you be you be right there, like fucking edging yourself, and you just. I'm be gonna be honest. Your, you be nodding your head, taking notes on the side. <laughs> all of all of the problems I've ever had in my life, I think I've solved in that instance. Oh. Like if I've had a homework problem, problems with life, you know, just gets fixed real quick. That's good. So simple. It's like it's like a it's like an auto unlock type thing, you know. Mhm. Mm That's probably what they did for like the atom bomb, space travel, <laughs> you know. You think they just jacked off real quick and figured it out? Ah, so I would be doing. You think it's a group the jack off? Not. Yes, circle, circle. Circle jerk. I have never cross applesauce. I, all I around a white a around a whiteboard, and whatever the pattern lands on is the answer to the math problem. Oh, dude, just the, the like uh, combining of calm, dude. I I I, for, <laughs> I forgot which bitch it was. It could have been like a damn porn star, or just some famous. Uh, oh my uh, gosh, influencer. But she said that she wanted a whole bunch of ethnicities and not in a cup, and then just have it injected into her. And whichever Ew. race is the winner gets to have the baby. Speaking of it's, separate yeah. ethnicities, um. Giving sexual things to somebody. Did you guys see Steve-O's Halloween costume? No. Steve-O asked um, about a month ago for a bunch of different dudes to send him their pu or his, their pubes. <laughs> so his Halloween costume was him, only in his underwear, with over a hundred dudes pubes taped <laughs> all over him. Right? Because he wanted to be Bigfoot. Oh my and god. He, and he said, he said, thanks for making this happen. I can finally be Bigfoot. He didn't think of anything else. He went straight to pubes. Literally skipped so many steps. That ass. To I'd be honest, grow I mine out. To, yeah, I would have to wait. I'd have to wait till it gets to the I steel wool stage. I have a baby dick right now. The steel wool. What? I have a baby dick right now. I have a baby dick right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was somewhere else. What? I what thought that was going somewhere. I thought else. you were just uh, What do you mean, uh, you? I, th I never I thought, said anything about that. I thought that's you were admitting disgusting. to having a micro cock. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought oh, you were admitting yeah. to. Oh, no, I do. I am inverted for whole four inches. There's no cock there. Ever. You, have a, you have a mangina. <laughs> no, no, no. You have no, a literal no. mangina. You are it not goes, a transgender into a, a having a, bin, a vagina. No. A that bit is inverted. I have a dick dog. It's okay. Imagine peeing in your dick's in. Wait, speaking, speaking <laughs> it's of It's like a tube coming out like. <laughs> speaking of inverted, how many innies and how many outies we got here? I don't think uh, we got one outie, dude. Yeah, I don't either. I used to go. be an outie until I was like 10. I'm not an outie, bro. Yes, you are. What? I can hear it in your voice. I'm not a, I do not have an outie. I promise you I don't. Two of my brothers are. He does not, I can confirm. Whoa. 
How you know? How are you looking so closely? Me huh? and be doing oh, stuff. I can look as close as I want. You can't. <laughs> Me and Brenner have a special understanding. <coughs> yeah, we have a sexual understanding. I thought Wait, you what? said special. It's very yeah, it's mutual sexual. respect. It is true. We shake it... up. We sh we shake up after every sexual interaction. You know, there was one kid who said that he had never. There was one kid in school who said he had never had someone touch his belly button because he thought that was weird. And some girl was like, "I wash mine out every single day with a special loofah that's just belly button sized." Bro, what? If I said her name, you guys would be like, "Okay, that makes sense." Say her name. I wash mine. Oh God. <laughs> Well, I heard him say that, and you know, of course, I had to be his first time, so I stabbed him in the belly button. With a finger. You're a rapist. <laughs> Why'd you do that kid like that? Why'd you rape that man? Nah, it's fine. He did the same thing right back. If I ever have grandkids, I'm gonna make, make him clean out my belly button. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> this is, see, this is, you don't know what you don't have to sour. I'm sour. I'm sour. I'm sour. I'm sour. I'm sour. Not nickel. today. I'm sour. Yeah. Nickel. <laughs> Do y'all remember the Spongebob episode <laughs> where Squidward gets really big and Spongebob wants to have, or get his merit badges for whatever scouts he's in or something? And he, so he can't, and him and Patrick camp out under Squidward and Patrick sleeps in Squidward's belly button lid. No. Yes. Oh I remember my that goodness. Shit, that that, shit just, was that just reminded me of that. No, it was not. Shut up. That shit made me kind of hard. <laughs> See, while Brenner's over here getting his grandkids to clean out his belly button, I'm going to have my cult running or my cult of the people running around taking over the world from hey. Gorilla Tag. They're oh all going to leave you. Once well, I get not. on there, I'm going to grow the up. Holy language. And I'll get you won't. The you can't. I every single server I've been in so far, I have had the entire server following me. I am a cult leader. No, you're not. It, all I have to say is I'm a famous TikToker and I am the star of the show. Dude, once no, you're you not. once you tell them that you're above the age of twelve, they think that you're like the Messiah. They were calling me Master. Yeah. <laughs> and then I had the one kid who would just scream, "Monkey, monkey, 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 monkey." And, the, and then he said, only the me. master knows what I'm saying. And I said, I don't know what you're saying, though. And he said, I Shh. said, we need to go over here and do this and this and this. And I was like, okay. And then he said, monkey, monkey, and ran off into the distance. So I had those, I had those I, dudes running around. I don't understand why parents give their, like, 10 and under kids a VR, v VR headsets. That's just going to make them yeah. worse. I'm pretty I sure could it not says play on the that game. I'm pretty sure it says on the packaging not to do it because it fucks up their spatial awareness because their brains are still yolk. <laughs> a yolk. yolk. Speaking of brains being a yolk and children not being allowed to use video Here games. Here we go. What? Uh, soft spots and children. Oh, I was going to say, I was going to bring up, that's something completely different, but China banned video games for more than three hours a day for your kids. That's real? Yeah. What? I, I, I agree mean, with that. That's and they also yeah, banned I mean, the, I understand it, but three hours? And starting the 17th, um, Fortnite is also banned from their country. They're just breaking Fortnite kids' is? hearts. Yeah. Yeah. Well, There's because... Gonna be granted, rates are going to skyrocket. Granted, they're... Well, it's not going to pass Russia, at least. Um, but their, their efficiency in their country is probably going to go up by so much. They yeah. have they 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 they're, uh, the problem with most like people our age is that they spend time doing video games. If they eliminate that, then they gotta do something else. It's either crime or work. Choose one. I would. Uh, if I like crime. my yeah, if I like yeah, my I job, would I would. But then if I didn't, I definitely choose crime. Although, I'd be a villain. I, have, I, I feel like they got so much honor over there, they don't want their social credit score to go down. So. I feel like they don't care because they were Kikamori's inside playing games all day, every day. So now they're just out on the belt. It's like releasing a basement dweller onto the world. It's not okay. That's not in okay. The basement. <laughs> in the basement. <laughs> they walked in down there. Locked them in the cellar. Oh, God. Like maybe lock them up, throw away the key. Basement There's dweller feed on people. I mean, I'm cool with banning Fortnite, but three game, three hours of video games only a day. Oh, that's you would die. 
I just, I just love the fact that, like, I'm pretty sure that Christian classifies as a basement dweller. He gets saying kill them all. Oh, yeah, I definitely... He does. <laughs> you do. I mean, when we were kids, man, no and we were at your house, we'd be, we'd be in the bed. Well, that kind of makes me would, too. Wait, no, well, <laughs> well, yours wasn't as much, but on, like, the weekdays when I wasn't at your house or you weren't at mine, we were definitely in the basement the whole oh, time. Yeah, I, sure. I, was de I was definitely in the basement the whole time. Granted, when Lego Star Wars did come out, we did stay in the basement for like 12 hours mm -hmm. straight and beat it. Yeah, but yeah. that's an understandable reason to stay in the basement. When the would new you, Lego Star Wars comes out, would you guys classify out, uh, uh, well, probably not the mute as they it as a basement dweller? Yes. Yes. I don't even know him that well, and yes. Do you think I, I think you're talking about? Uh, solely based on his social, down solely down. based off of his social sk skills, yes. I'm gonna say yes. A hundred percent yes. I, I don't believe he's not a basement dweller. I've seen shit I'd never want to see again in that basement. Yeah, I have yeah. too, dude. There are not even, like, events, mold growing in places that you don't know it can grow. It's just, nah. It's a scary place. Never cleaned. I, I have never been to no. a man's house, and I've spoken maybe you a don't paragraph to him. Seven sentences. And I qualify him as a basement dweller just from those seven sentences. He is, dude, for real. And now he doesn't even come out of the basement to hang out with boys. Does he have more mold than me? Yes. That's Listen, impossible. Listen, he makes you look like a peasant of mold. He is the emperor. Well, I don't really have any mold anymore because I'm not, I wasn't, I used to, Maybe. my computer used to be in the basement, but now it's in my room, so I'm chilling. I'm a room dweller. Oh. Is your room in the basement? <laughs> no. Oh, like ground floor, baby. Hey, moving up, literally. There you go. Yeah, I've not been a second floor my whole life. All right, Nico, you said you had a good, you had a good topic. What was your topic? So you know the fetish online known as furries. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh Lord, yeah. Yeah, you guys, you guys know what furries be doing. You know, we all know the whole uh -huh. lore of the fur. Yeah, I may or may not have a fur suit in my closet. Well, mm -hmm. did you guys know during fur conventions, some hotels have to kick them out or shut down because it stinks so bad? Because none yeah, of these furries all. take showers, and they do I something called it. they do something called yiffs. What's a yiff? Yiffs? It's a group fucking sesh in your fur suit. So y'all uh, like forty? A group shower? No, a group sex. Like sex oh, oh, and fur oh, suits. Okay. Like forty dudes, one room. You're all wearing like fucking twenty pounds of fur, and you're all I would sweating. like to document that. Stinky. I like to document that. I want to. I want to take like the pH level. I want to take like the pH level of that room. I want to see how acidic the air gets because of them. Because I know Probably that that's a, uh, to an unhealthy level. Because I know. What the I, hell happened to Brenner? Did he die? I think going. he died. Yeah, I know, I know dang well, judging from the kids that used to wear the tails at our school, I know how they smelled. And that was them probably showering once a week. And these yeah, guys in the yeah. fursuits sweating it up. These guys in the fursuits double shower. You remember that furry convention no. that, that all guys think no it's breaks? I smell bad. That all guys yeah, no breaks yeah, went I to? Do. And that guy, he was like... He's like, which one would you? Oh, there's like a guy that's like vaping. He's like, so uh, what, what, what is your first pers persona? And he was like, oh, I'm a blue jay, man. He's like, if you had to give up one, vaping or being a furry, which one would you do? And he's like, oh, vaping, man. I can't give yeah. up what I am. I'm actually a bird. He's like, can you fly? And he's like, oh yeah. People are so insane, dude. Wait, I don't understand that. Wait, 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 wait. No, he can't fly. The guy Nico. actually flew. No. Nico. <laughs> oh. Maybe he is a bird. <laughs> maybe he is. Maybe there was something to be in a furry that gave him the ability to fly. I would have been interested. I would have had to try something out. Dude, I wish I could fly. I could do so many cool things. I take the giant, most nasty log shits over cars. <laughs> <laughs> On people, dude. I get them real fun. That's nasty. If your sunroof is open, you get a log drop on you. Through the sunroof? <laughs> yes. <laughs> on the highway. On the highway. Go with like 80. Long. <laughs> I wish Crashes that they were like... Crashes into the wall. Police are like searching. They're like, what the hell happened? Why is there shit all everywhere? I wish what there were like big doing? birds like that. 
That'd be so funny. Imagine there's like massive birds that could just take dookies that cover semis. So I would be terrified. It would be able to eat my car. If it could cover somebody that dookie, <laughs> dude, my yeah, car would real. be like a nice snack. Uh, dude, it would make me so happy because as a as an enthusiast of birds, I would just I would want one as a pet. I would want to ride it or domesticate it. What kind of bird would you want as a I pet? I don't think you'd be able to. I don't think it would allow you. If Mike Tyson can domesticate pigeons, I can domesticate that. That's a Mike, little bird. He's listen, the big dog there. Mike Tyson did not domesticate pigeons. Pigeons are just retarded enough they saw him as a bigger animal. Yeah. Okay. No. No, he domesticated them. He is no, he the did. Mike Tyson. He bit off a man's ear. They saw that and they said, oh my gosh. We'll be his subordinate. No. Brandon said his Discord is cutting out. Yeah, I saw that. Mike Tyson's an animal and does not deserve to be let out into public. He should be put in animal jail where Mike Tyson No, he's belongs. fine now. No. He he went through his um what's it called? He he did the uh what drug was it DMT? And now Probably. he's just fine. Or peyote or something? I would love I don't know. Peyote. You said you would uh, I would what love is pay what peyote. is peyote? Cactus. Cactus drug, yeah. Like like it's, Sokka from it's Avatar. What the Native yeah, Americans it's like what Sokka so Sokka took from Avatar. Yeah, yeah, actually. It's exactly Cactus that. Cactus juice? Yes, it's exactly that. What he took was... If it's know, natural right? like that, then I could take it just like Sokka. You could take well, it just like... Why can't you smoke you weed, then? Yeah. How bad is it for you? Is it like, uh... It's like any other psychedelic. Brain? It's like any other psychedelic. Oh, then I'm not taking it. Never mind. It's a mass release of all of the shit in your head. So you're telling me that Sokka went retarded from that? Yeah, well, I mean... He was having more trip. retarded than he was. Sokka is not retarded. He's the smartest man in Avatar. Get your word straight. You fucking he is. Simple. I mean, he so, is the backbender. So. It was so sad he was not there for season two. Or for Korra, I mean. Bro, he was only in one flashback in Korra. And mm -hmm. it made me so salty. First of all, Suki wasn't there. That made me cry. Because Suki's the goat. And Aang died at like 60. And Katara is, was alive at like 90. So was so. Zuko. And so was Zuko, so they were Zuko just Zuko was like around. 95 then. And so was Toph. Toph lived in the forest. Yeah. Toph was a goblin. That's how <laughs> I want to live my life. She literally lived in a mud hut in the woods where no one else could find her. And was just like, I can see everything I want here. No, you're blind, retard. You can't see anything. Brenner, are you back? He ain't back. It's alright, hopefully his recording didn't stop. Or else Jonah, say something. Fun. What? Say something interesting, you fool. What the fuck do you think this is? <clears throat> Happy hour? Get talking. Dude, I don't know. All I fucking brought to... I didn't do any writing. All I brought to the table was... I'm a cult leader. And that's that. What's your cult's basis on? <laughs> Rape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I was about to bring up another topic, but you just said that, and that's even more sour than the soft spots. <laughs> Joe, I haven't said anything too sour yet. I had I, <laughs> I had to throw my sour taste Dude, into the mix. Dude, I hope I hope the person I want to hear this hears this so they can yell at you and you would understand this fucking pain. Ooh, who are you talk talking about? about? Anyone of this fucking the leader of the monkey paw, the leader of the discords. They need to ban you. You gotta get sour root for that. You gotta you're get going, you're I, I, in I, sour monkey jail. You're getting in sour monkey jail. I didn't. Say, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why? Because you were talking about leading a, a cult of eight-year-olds to rape people. First of all, they're eight. <laughs> Second of all, they're raping people. How do you know what they're raping? Okay, I anything, anything. No, D you didn't let me get into it. What would? What, okay, okay, what will they be ahead, doing? What were they? Who, you know those? You know those people that are like earth fuckers who fuck the earth? Still, still. Okay, you're now still listen, a listen, listen. I have. I have two tribes. I have the tribes of the ones that go out and they fuck the earth to make it ours, right? And the other tribes, they go around, they they do like uh, Chris Hansen does, right? They're like, yeah, I'm a 12-year-old kid. Uh, ha ha, you want to come have sex? Well, that guy comes to the house, right? Nine kids walk out from around the corner. With and ropes, rape him? guns, tasers. Oh, dude. That would be no, they don't rape him. They just give him to me and then I rape him. Uh, uh, uh. So that's still See, that it's still illegal. Is that sour? It's still Is illegal. It sour? Yes. What are you gonna What are you gonna say? It's sour. He's a child. He's trying to rape a kid. It's he. It's still Christian, illegal either Christian, way. Christian, he might have. I think covered. 
Yeah, what are you trying to create? Maybe you're <laughs> the sour one, Christian. What, do you think it's okay for people to go around touching little kids? I'm no, just I'm here saying doing we a put service. them in a coliseum, and they fight it out with our champion, Francis. You can God. let them do it after do that. you have the same mindset, Christian, as uh, the alcoholic who works with me? He says the same thing about pedophiles. <laughs> Kill them? No, put them in a coliseum. Yeah, like, I, I genuinely... That's my one goal in life, right? Is to be rich enough and have this, have enough power to where either if it's my country or another one, I don't care about the human rights violations. I am creating the Roman Colosseum, but making it like 10 times bigger so it can fit like a million people in it. And we are going to release all the death row in inmates uh, from our country. And they're going to go in there and they're going to fight it out. And if they survive to the very end, then they have to fight somebody who's like our champion. Okay, that's fine, but if a child die. rapist wins, they have to die anyway. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 they're gonna fight the champion. Brunner, okay. you're back. The champion will kill him. Yeah. Did your recording ever stop? No. Okay, very epic. Makes We're talking about the, the Colosseum for the pedophiles. You missed it. You missed what my Colt's basis is. Did you hear any of that? No. Uh, tell him, you sour, sour boy. Tell him, sour boy. No, I can't be called sour. Christian's the sour one. Um, my my. For what reason? I have two parties, and it's based on one group that rapes the earth, right? Because they want to make it our domain, and then the other one, they lure sex offenders into a house. The one kid baits them in, like, oh yeah, haha, and then the guy's like, I'm gonna rape this kid, and then nine or ten kids come out with tasers and rope, tie him up, and give him to me, and then I rape him. It's still Ooh. rape. Rape is still bad. Just take him. What are you gonna do? Throw defend him. the sex offender? He's gonna no. Rape a kid. I was gonna say throw him in the Colosseum. No, he deserves it. He's gonna go try to rape I'm a fucking eight year old. Yeah, I think kids, Christian's sour because he right to do it to Christian him. thinks it's okay. Maybe Christian's. A sex I offender. don't. You're putting <laughs> words in my <laughs> mouth. <laughs> You're putting words in my mouth. There's no <laughs> chance. <laughs> Why are you right. so, yeah, that's why you You know so what? Defensive. I'm for your cult now, all right? I'll join. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> You've tied me up, all right? Wait. Bad choice of words. <laughs> you tied me up. You got me, I meant to say. I'm not the sex offender that you're tying up, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> not this time, coppers. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen have you, have you seen the clip where they, like they edited the Chris Hansen video with like a video of someone that they made themselves like the guy that's like juking all the cops as they're trying to chase him down for yeah. soliciting a minor yeah he like jukes them around the hammock and they all go flying God. that would be uh, uh, that'd be the guy juice, that'd be the guy juking out all of Jonah's little cult members <laughs> listen I'm not no, gonna say this, I'll say this all these sex offenders have mad speed and mad mobility. I think it's the New Balance shoes. That's a lie. No, that's a lie, bro. I think it's the New I saw, Balance. I think New Balances saw, are the best shoes for running away from people. I think balance. no one wants to wear them. New Balance. We sponsor, we sponsor sex offenders. I, <laughs> I saw a video today of a guy making an O-line out of sex offenders on the, in his area. There's no chance that those 300-pound MFers have the mobility to get away from the cops. Absolutely not. There's the one guy that walks in with cerebral uh, palsy or whatever it is, on to catch a predator. You know, Nico, I don't. I think you had. I think you were thinking of Chris Harrison. I don't know. Who's that thinking, Nico that said that he was now. racist now, and the only one that I found was racist was Chris Harris Harrison from The Bachelor. <laughs> I never watched The Bachelor. I didn't either, but that's that's the only one that came up. Chris Harrison's still racer. out here. He's getting a new one, boys. We're going to have a new marathon to watch. Isn't he chunky, though? Chris Hansen? No, not anymore. He's boxing now. So now he can beat him Where's up. He's he boxing. To. I don't know. He, he showed, like... He should box He should box Jake Paul. If no, 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 he's not boxing people. He's just, like, that's how he's getting in shape. No, he should box Jake Paul. That no, would if he so boxes happy. someone, it should be the sex offenders when they Is walk he gonna in. Is he going to beat a pedophile's ass? He's like, put I the dukes so up. <laughs> They'd be like, let's he's, go with it. He's like, all right. Because I, I listen to his podcast every now and then, and he's supposed to have... He said that they, they're making a new show, and it, he says that he keeps getting a bunch of questions, and everyone's like, oh, where are you guys going to have it? And he was like, guys, you realize I can't tell you where it's going to be, right? Because, like, like, what if you guys are the sex offenders, and you're listening to this? Yeah. Salt Lake City, Utah. They want the inside information. Yeah. Salt Lake City, Utah. They need to know Dude, where the sex offenders are going to migrate out of. That's what they're trying to figure out. Mm -hmm. Pro Provo, Provo. Nico, have you watched Provo. any of the those, really? Catch a predator? Yes, I've seen all of them. They're fucked. I've seen so many. The, the one guy think... offers him a pizza. 
still that is my right dude. There. I was just about to say that is my. I hate him the most. He, he made a marriage twice. contract. No, no, no. That's the other guy. I'm talking about the guy who, in the newer one, Jeff Sokol, and he comes in and he's like, he brings the pizza and he wants, and then he makes a marriage contract for her because he's trying to make it legal. Very interesting. Sorry. The guy that came back twice, he they caught him and then he. Well, no, there's two that did that. There's the oops guy. Who he gets caught the second time and he goes. This guy looks like a fucking rat. <laughs> yeah, he does. He he looks like a gerbil. He does. The other guy's ah. the one at McDonald's who goes. I was just coming to get something to eat. <laughs> I was just coming to get something to eat. The funniest one was the guy that was a lawyer, and uh, he had to call his was it his mom or his wife that was like the district attorney of that yeah, area. Yeah, yeah. Like the it prosecutor. Was his, it was his mom. Yeah. And he had to call his mom. And was like, yeah, I just got arrested for soliciting a minor. Dude, I love those videos so much. Well, there's the doctor too, or whatever his name was. Maurice something and he he was like a big doctor and he comes into the backyard spills a margarita all over himself and then he's going to like see the girl like naked because she said she was changing and he sees the camera crew and he tries to run and the cops just spring out and tackle him <laughs> why and then he did he to... get naked and after spilling the margarita on him no no she was back there he said do you have a towel and she's like i only have the one right here and he's like okay she said i'll bring it out when i'm done changing and then he just went back there to try to grab it and he saw the camera people, so he ran. And then he had to, like, call his wife, and he was like, don't bring the kids, but you're going to have to come pay my bail. <laughs> he said, I'll explain when you get here, because he didn't want to tell her beforehand, because she wouldn't get him. <laughs> <clears throat> Bro, yeah, that's wild. I don't People... understand him efforts like that. No, I mean... older, older women so much better. I love MILFs. That, no. Was that we bad? Learned, you guys we're learning didn't a lot about you in this podcast. Yeah. I like it. I like it. You're opening I up, don't. finally. We know you like the older women. You like We know you like them juicy mommy milkers out here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Within good. the next ten years, he'll be a soft spot serial killer. Oh. He, That's he def- my name. That would be a cooler name. He defends pedophiles and thinks that they deserve the I best. do not. I do not. <laughs> I want to see them get beheaded in the Coliseum, but you want to rape them. So who's worse? You, you can kill them after. I don't really care what you do with them after, but they deserve the punishment that they were trying to come They commit. can get that punishment in the Coliseum. I just want everyone uh, to see it. I want the spectator sport. I'll do it live. I'll do I it live. We can, make, we, can, we can split the commission. It'll be a humiliation thing, and then afterwards they just get have to fight. I'd, I'd bait a lot. I would, too. I would. Yeah. I would. Oh, I would pay to do it. I off in this arena. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, movie. that's even worse. You can't jack off the fuck shit happening either anymore? What is this? Fucking, I thought this was America. I was, I to what are you talking about? What the hell's going on here? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, that's so icky. What are you talking about? I thought this was, thought this was America. No, Nico. Sour, <laughs> sour, sour. Was it, wasn't there someone in your grade that did that in the middle of class? Oh shit! I just said his first and last name. Oh, <laughs> you fucking. Did he? Yeah, I thought. I thought. Joe. I thought uh, that one kid. He, uh, he he did it in his desk. He said he just shoved his because he was a big dude. He just shoved his body up against the desk, and you know, like the older desks that had like the inside yes. part where you put your yes. books. Yeah, he just did it in there, and he said he just shot his load all inside of it, and then oh. just imagine someone puts their books in there. And they just come out and they're like, who spilled their milk on my books? <laughs> he was coming in for, like, detention or something and just... Bro, see, that's crazy that people have, like, that... Do that stuff at school. Like, it's like the kids in, like, band that would, like, be kissing in the hallway, like, licking each other's necks. Like, bro, that we're at school, first of all. That the hottest thing I've ever seen in the morning getting my breakfast. No, you that gotta go to sour jail. You gotta go to sour jail. Sure. I remember <laughs> when... Nothing I is as bad, when, uh, though. Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say on my bus, this one kid. This kid was in seventh grade, bro, and his girlfriend was in sixth grade, <laughs> and he got head in the back of the bus. Oh. And, uh, and is that kid what grade was he in? Those she kids was in seventh, and she was in sixth, and I yeah. was. In no. Grade. They come from a broken home. They come from a broken home. <laughs> That's like twelve and thirteen. Those kids kid, come from kid, a broken home, dude. The kid lives one street across from me, bro. I can't. I can never mm. look at him the same. Why? Cause yeah. you know he's an alpha giga chad and you're a fucking beta. <laughs> Absolutely no. not, bro. Cause I was the one that heard it and I was like, bro, what are you doing? I remember when uh, I had freshman year, I had gym with uh, I'll bleep. 
and they would always have clothed sex every day in the morning. Wait, they which one just... is the girl you're talking about? Is it the one I know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they would just, when they dated, like, freshman year, they would just pretty much fuck through their clothes, right, in the bleachers. And I would just, we would just all be sitting there waiting, and everyone was just like, God, dude, like, it's fucking 7.20 a.m., what the hell are y'all doing? Yeah, Not bro, people lie. like that are wild. Kind of bad. Mm. No, people like that are just absolutely wild. Like, there's no chance. I, like, in front I don't of know people, what she looks like anymore. I haven't seen her in, like, three years. In front of people is crazy, bro. Yeah. Let alone at school at 7 a.m. Y'all just yeah, woke up. Y'all, <laughs> bro, bro just woke up, bricked up, and said, "Let's go." Using that Let's morning roll. wood. <laughs> yeah, he's still getting running fucking blue high. balls. He said, "I can't wait to get to school." Is he getting blue balls, or he's walking with a load in his pants? Wait, was that <laughs> in middle school or high school? Freshman year. Oh, okay. It's whack, dude. Everyone knows you can just go bust in the restroom, bro. There was always some nasty <laughs> shit in there. <laughs> bro, shut up. <laughs> None of us nah, ever nah, did that. Nah. Mr. Uh... Or whatever his name yes. is. Oh my gosh. He got busted doing it in a urinal. Mm -hmm. Did he really? Yep. Yeah. How are you gonna mess Did he get fired? Did he get fired? Well, no. No one told on him, but the kids caught him and they were like, Oh, you're a freak. They just bullied him. I mean... You're bro, free. cause that I You're thought free. I thought that man was weird because like I'd be I think it was me and you, Jonah, would go in like after lunch and we'd be peeing, and he would come up next to us and start talking oh. to us while we were all yeah, holding our penises, bro. bro. And we'd be like, bro, stop talking to us. Number one rule. Number one rule. You're cause right we would cause there, cause there would be three urinals, right? You take the two on the end. The one in the middle is not for people's use. You mm -hmm. do not take that one, and no, he would take I it. I like using that one. <laughs> Shut up. You are Mr. <laughs> and that is a sour man. <laughs> Yes, you are, bro. <laughs> that man is that man is whack. Nah, he's very like, yeah. He was a weird dude. He's almost as bad as Mr. V, bro. Uh, no, I don't know that. Know. That man Mr. V was... was broken. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, bro. I there the speaking of this, uh, bringing back the the people that got hired at my work that are like young, but they still go to the same school that we did. They were like, I was like, bro, by the way, if y'all got Mr. V, don't mess with him. He's creepy. And they're like, no way he is. I was like, oh my god, what? And then, and then, um, one of the girls came back like the, after her first day and was like, you know, now that you told me to like watch out for him, he is kind of creepy because he was petting my hair the other day. And I was like, bro, you're 16, wait, 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 dog. Wait, 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 wait. She only caught on it was weird after you told her and she got it if she put it in yeah, there. Yeah, what? And yes, her bro. hair petted and, was and weird. He's, and he's got and he's got a type, right? Because yeah. in my class I had, it was a it was a real short girl that you'd always go up and touch. And this girl is also mad short. So he just like I, I don't know what's wrong with him, but it's something. He likes them smaller than him. They can't really get away if they're smaller. Yeah, he told the girl in my class that he'd like to fit in a closet with her, so. Yeah. He deserves prison time. Prison time, bro. Give him death. He would be he would be the first one up for the Coliseum. Jonah, that's all you. Oh, dude, don't even need that. I don't even want that man. Uh, <laughs> you don't even want his You chips. can use a broomstick on him. Yeah, there you go. I'd do that all day. Alex from 13 Reasons Why style. I never watched 13 Reasons Why. I thought it was a stupid show. I watched the first season and that was it. Cause like, I did well, watch I watched the first get season. raped by a broom. I watched the first season and then I watched a couple episodes of the second season. And I was like, how are they making this go on? Like, the girl's dead. How many more reasons can there be, you know? How many seasons did there end up being? Three, Four. Right? <coughs> oh, I didn't watch the fourth. You know who watched all of them? Reed. And that man would always tell me about it. He's like, bro, this season's so good. I'm like, shut up. He'd also watch Riverdale. No, yeah. Riverdale was good through the first. Heck, uh, no. The first season was pretty cool. I, bro, I can't, I can't take it because they, the writers absolutely did not know how teenagers talk. They had uh, Cole Sprouse going, "How do you not know the saga of Quentin Tarantino's films? He's one of the most epic filmmakers of all time." That's bro, how like, you there's talk. nobody that'll talk That's like exactly that. That's exactly how you sound all the time, Christian. That's, I would never say film. We get you talking and about Minecraft, that's how you sound. Film saga. Okay, Minecraft is my niche, alright? Leave me alone. I would oh, die for that game. 
Dude, speaking of games, I cannot wait till after we get done with this podcast. Ooh, crab crab game. game, dude. Oh my god. Like, all the shit I've seen from it, it's just push to talk proximity chat. There are some absolute menaces. I want to be like, one. I, Lots of N words, probably. I'm going, I'm, guessing. To be, I'm going to be a good boy tonight and not get into the menace society. I want to be the know. leader. Yeah, I kind of want it. I want to be in one. I'm just gonna play my crab game and thrive. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna hunt you down. I'm gonna have a cult of people going after you, Christian. Why? I'm gonna say this kid wants to touch. Yo, no off. way. In crab game, I get to be Korean, so I actually have a full head of hair. That's awesome. Big dub. Big Why don't dub. you just tattoo a hair on your head? Yeah, that's a lot of work. I don't get it. Oh, it won't shit. be as full and a voluptuous. Just get a rug. Think of this. Chris, think of this, Christian. Ready? Pubic How do you hair spell two? To pay. No, 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 no. You lied. Disgusting. You're disgusting. I, I, I don't want that nasty steel wool hair. I'm sorry. My pee is <laughs> soft and luscious. I don't know what you do to them, but I the, the, the stuff on the stuff, the stuff on Steve-O was not soft and luscious. If you were watching Steve, you fucking jack off five times a day. You probably just pull your underwear right back up and do it. You fucking wipe on your dick again. One. Okay. What? <laughs> Did you say that they come into their underwear and then just stew in it? Yes, bro. There's a Steve-O <laughs> fan. Fucking Steve will do it fans out here. Fucking look at him. Just get one of these, Christian. Stewers. Look in the chat. Get a hair like that. A fake one. No. <laughs> who is that? I don't know. I just looked up shitty toupee. I know who that is. That looks or like this Chuck one. Norris. Get that one. <laughs> That's Jay Leno. I know who that is. That is not Jay Leno. That's Jay Leno look-alike. He has just as much hair. That's totally Jay Leno and Chuck Norris. The first one is Chuck Norris, though. No, I would not get a toupee. All right, I'm owning my baldness like a man. All right, I taking what it. I was given. Speaking of that, Amen. I need to shave my head tonight. I need to go shower and shave it. Shave it takes a good amount. No, shower. no, it really. It, it, I would start bleeding everywhere. If you did what? If I shaved it dry, you know, I went in uh, junior year. Or my English, my English teacher was bald, and he said that bald people, uh, you never realize how much your hair protects you until you're bald. So like when you hit your head on stuff when you're bald, it hurts really bad, and it will <laughs> probably bleed. And he was right, because I've hit my head a couple times and it starts bleeding. Normally, that wouldn't happen if I had hair. Yeah, could you, could you start? So you guys, you, you guys are already winning Darwin, Darwin's game. It's not fair. I'm sorry, you're just a freak. I don't have hair. <laughs> okay, Goblin Boy. Must have, been, must have been all that milk you've been drinking. All that milk no, that no makes hair. my bones. No hair, yeah. No milk, no hair, no yeah. Milk. Well, oh. let's see who jumps. See who can jump off a house and have his bones survive. Everyone else's bones no, will crumble to dust. I, I think you would have had your hair would have lasted longer if you had more sunlight. Yeah, probably. Vitamin D is a crucial point. And B12. I I I also could have taken like Rogaine or something. My brothers or take it. You could take B12, the pill, and grow hair. No. So what is uh, B12? That it's sounds stuff, scary. It's stuff, it's, it's fucking, it's a vitamin your body needs. To Vi it's hair. vitamin B12. My, my mom and my stepdad both take it, except my stepdad's bald. He doesn't need it for hair growth, he just likes vitamins. What I is guess. B12 good for? It helps keep your body's blood and nerve cells healthy. Yeah. It helps your blood flow. Yeah, I just am not about to, I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't need supplements for my hair, all right? I want to <laughs> own, I want to own my looks. I, my body. This is the one pill you're going to die as being a bald bitch. Yes, wow. exactly. <laughs> Dude, I don't, I don't take no damn vitamins, and I don't put anything good in my body. It's dead as a wasteland in there. <laughs> there yeah. There's stuff fighting, a lot of shit dying. Do you guys think next, or not next week, but like the week after, you guys want to wax my head? Yes. Yes. I'll wax not, head. not like a Brazilian, but like, know, with like car wax. Yeah. Like it nice and shiny like Usman's dad's was. Can I bring money to get your eyebrows shaved off? No. As, unless it's $500, no. $500 okay, okay, all together okay, or per person? No, all together. If we there's $500 die, there, I'll do it. Your eyebrows. We dye your eyebrows blonde. No. 
blonde. Two hundred eyebrows. No. Two hundred for the blonde eyebrows. <laughs> no. Pink, or pink for one fifty. Or we dyed them like heavy black. That wouldn't do black. anything. That wouldn't be bad at all. That's like twenty bucks. Dude, I was okay. Right. This is all. This is off topic, but I was having a thought, and I don't, I don't know how well it would work, cause like. I don't Okay, you guys know obviously we're going to the cabin in January or whenever, right? With all the boys. Yes. I thought it was December. No, wait, no. January. Is it, it's in the first week of January, right? My birthday? Yeah, I think so. Cool. <coughs> so, what if... Do you think it'd be possible to get a podcast with all the boys? That would be hectic. Oh, no. it, would have to, it would have to be... It would be hectic. It would have hectic. to be like 20 minutes long. And, like, it'd be screaming nonstop. Yeah, yeah, it would just be like, well, we'd still upload, like, our normal ones, but it would just be, like, a bonus retard one. I don't know, though, how good that would work. I would do it. We should That'd be do crazy. It. I mean, we could try. Like, yeah, I could just bring try. a I would just bring a Chromebook that has Audacity on it and then my mic. But it would, yeah, it would be a, uh, it'd be a nightmare. We're going to have to rein <laughs> in so many people. I mean, I would, it might I work, though. Need, I would need a couple people on a leash. If everyone is, like, relatively, so, like, not drunk, then we I can... Would need, I would need a leash for the other 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 person named after me, and I would also need a leash for his mini-me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Brock and Christian. Oh. Because <laughs> if they get going... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, nah. Brock and well, we just won't let them... We just won't let politics, politics be brought into it. They will. Oh, they no. always find a way. I don't know. They, they will find a way to talk about no, the communist they party. They won't. Yes, they will. <laughs> they love it. That's what they were yelling about while we were at poker. I was like, please no poker on po or please no politics in poker. It's so sad. I don't really care. I don't. Really I don't think have there's anyone else we would have to tie up. I though. don't really care. I have opinions on politics, so I don't really give a fuck. What, like it doesn't matter to me. If, and my, if, the way I see it, my one brain isn't going to affect or change anything, so I don't really give a fuck. I, I don't think I care enough to affect anything. I think that one person could, but I just don't care enough. I mean, hey, if people, if it turns into anarchy, I'd be, I'd be cool with that. I'd just That'd be so much fun. We could take over the shopping district, and I would sit on top of it with, I don't know, a bow or something, and miss all my <laughs> shots and then get stabbed. That's art. <laughs> it's yeah. rust. It's rust. rust. Fighting up. Let's go do oil rig. Get a gas station, boys. Let's go to gas station. Get the green car, please. They updated rust. You told me that. I saw it though. Yeah, there's monument. a stupid monument that blows stuff up. It's really hard to get, though, I think. I deleted rust, though, so I could download new Call of Duty. It was yeah. uh, like only like 50 gigs. Yeah, I don't want to buy the game because I'll play it for a week and I'll never touch it again in my life. I don't like the new Call of Duty. Yeah. From they what they're saying, this charm. one. They said this one. Christian, how is it? I mean, Stuart said it was good. Stuart likes every Call of Duty. The, the multiplayer, is on, multiplayer is on it is so much better than Cold War. Cold War had score streaks, and I hate score streaks. Is it kill streaks again? Yeah, it's kill streaks, and it's. it's um, Another World War Two game, but it's not that bad. And it, uh, but the zombies on it, I, I don't like the zombies. The campaign is pretty good though. But the multiplayer, the multiplayer, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like uh, Modern Warfare Two, or not Modern Warfare Two, uh, Modern Warfare. So, yeah. Well, you, you multiplayer. just killed the one reason I might have got it. Yeah, I, I watched a video on it, and like the mystery box, the pack a punch, and like everything that you need is spawned in one area. And like you, more maps? yeah, but like I, I think they're all gonna follow that same basis. And it's kind of lame. What do you mean? Like they, it, it's going off like you have to kill like zombies and you get things from doing challenges. And the challenges you fill up like these things and it's really dumb. It's that not as cool shit. as like doing actual Easter eggs. Hmm. But I like What's the multiplayer wrong? a lot. What's wrong with kids these days? They don't want to spend 10 hours sitting down playing zombie strike and Easter egg. Exactly. <laughs> Missing the sportsmanship in it. <laughs> I prefer to waste my day yeah. doing nothing, but whatever. Ooh, Pedo Mutual Stinky. <laughs> Alright, you guys have any more topics? We are 20 seconds away from one hour. 
well, the first like five minutes is probably gonna get cut, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm, much much I'm oh, good with whatever, because we can we can keep going or we can go play crab games. I'm up for either. Are far Fido, give me a topic, someone. <laughs> no. All right. Y'all are fucking some defiant little bitches. This has Show been the Monkey Paul podcast, Dang. and this is this week's number five. I'll see you next week. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Good night.